Hey friend, have you been coming across the term high ticket sales and high ticket affiliate marketing? And you're like, what does high ticket sales mean? Like, what is the meaning of that? Well, hey, in this exciting episode, we're gonna dive right down into the high meaning of high ticket sales and basically the basics of what it is and how you can use it to make more money in your business, all right? So hey, if you're new to this channel, my name is Chris from chrisandgia.com and this channel is all about empowering you, the home business entrepreneur with the mindset and the online skill sets to get results, make money, drive breakthroughs, and live the choice lifestyle you deserve, all right? So if you like content like that, reviews, tutorials like this, then hey, definitely give the video a like. Consider subscribing to the channel too and smash that bell too because you'll be notified whenever I drop new videos, which is pretty much almost daily. All right, so let's get into it, my friend. What does high ticket sales mean, yeah? The basics of what it is and how to make money with high ticket sales. So I'm gonna dive right into this joker for you, all right, my friend? All right, so let's start off with the kind of a definition of what is high ticket sales. It basically what it is, is promoting products and services at a premium pricing compared to similar products and services in the marketplace, all right? That's essentially what it is. So for example, one of the best examples I can think of is real estate. Yeah, you can sell real estate if you're an agent, like $100,000, $200,000 homes, or you can do high ticket real estate, which is basically luxury real estate, right? Where you're selling million dollar, two, three plus million dollar homes, right? Same product and service, but you're selling them at a premium, yeah? Could be the same thing. So it can be any anything like that. Now, what is uh, what are some examples of high ticket sales and products and services? Usually, especially when we're talking about on the internet, they're usually high end products, usually greater than twenty five hundred dollars plus. All right, so you might have some products and services that are like five hundred, a thousand dollar products. You could consider those to high end to a certain degree, but generally, I've heard that it's over twenty five hundred dollars or more. And usually, there are things like coaching and consulting services, right? It'd be masterminds that you're getting into that are like fifty, hundred thousand dollar masterminds. And some of them even subscriptions as well. Like if you're a $250, $500 per month subscription that you have, that could probably be considered high ticket as well. Now, what are some of the nuances of high ticket sales? Number one, they're not autopilot sales, right? So they're not the kind of thing that, hey, you're going to be making autopilot money while you sleep. No, it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Why? Because it usually requires a conversation, right? So for example, you wouldn't, you, you wouldn't think that you, someone wouldn't just go buy like a high-end, you know, product off of Amazon that was like, I don't know, maybe it's like a, it's like a car or a house, right? You wouldn't buy those things off of clicking off of Amazon, right? No. Usually it requires a conversation. You need to talk to somebody. You need to ask this question. It needs to be a connection. I'm like, okay, is this legit? What will I get from this? Right? It's usually that type of thing. And then when you when you get into the conversation, sometimes they can be started. You can start these type of things off with applications. People will fill out an application to see if it's a good fit. Right for you and them because you don't want to work with just anybody. There's only certain types of clients that you're going to work with that fit within this high ticket product you're promoting, this high ticket service you're promoting. You only want certain types of clients. And then another thing to consider too is that high ticket sales and high ticket um, um, marketing in your business is probably one of the best ways to scale a business. Right to go from making a couple thousand dollars a month to maybe making tens, even hundreds of thousands of dollars. Per month, it's probably one of the best ways. And then on top of it, one of the big things about high ticket sales and the whole idea behind it is that it does require a change in the mindset of money objections. Because obviously, you're going to be asking people for more money, right, for your products and service. And then if they hit you with an objection like, "Oh, I don't have the money," you have to change your mindset. And I learned this too. <laughs> this is why network marketing was pretty cool and affiliate marketing is pretty cool. I learned this hardcore where. If someone tells you that they don't have the money, that's never the answer, ever, all right? When they tell you, I don't have the money, what they're really saying is, I don't see the value in what it is you're offering. That's what they're really saying. And so what it means is then you have to change your the way you perceive this, right? Change the way you perceive the money objection to really, what it means is that you haven't provided them enough value because if people really wanted to buy something, they could. People would want to really buy buy something. They can find the money. They can, and they would buy it. So it's about conveying more value, all right? Now, 
what I like to call the high ticket test. I made this up. I don't know if it's legit, but it's my own personal test and how I look at, look at something being high ticket and whether you can charge a premium price point for it is I ask myself, what will someone give to solve this particular problem that they're in, right? If they say that, oh, it's priceless, right? Then that, my friend, is a high ticket offer, right? So if someone says, what will you give to generate more leads and sales in your business so that you can be financially free? They would say it's priceless, right? That's a high ticket to offer. What would you give to have better health so that you're lean, you've lost this 20, 30 pounds so that, right, feature and then benefit, you can run around with your kids, play ball with them, go to every one of their soccer games and actually play with them. Oh, that would be priceless. That, my friend, is a high ticket offer. So that's kind of how I've looked at it <laughs> and been able to measure it, all right? Now, why is high ticket sales such a better approach? Ugh. Let's talk about number one, the psychological advantage. Now, what, you, what I learned, I learned this from uh, watching Dr. Cialdini, re reading Dr. Cialdini's book, The Influence, right? And he talks about the psychological advantage here is that people tend to believe that there's more value in a product that has a higher price, right? It's embedded in our psychological society, common thinking, our, the common brain in that um, you get what you pay for it. And people subconsciously believe that. So when they see something of higher price, they automatically associate with, well, it must have higher value to it. Number two, there's marketing flexibility associated with high ticket sales. High ticket offers make it possible to create profitable sales funnels or even or create funnels that pay for themselves. Because a lot of times when you're paying for ads, a lot of times you come out in the red with what it costs to generate leads these days. But if you can put a high ticket offer in the back end, it's what actually will make your funnel profitable or at the very least, your marketing is being paid for, right? It's what's called a customer-funded approach, where a customer is paying for your marketing up front, paying for your product up front, and that's what's paying for your marketing. And another thing is that you work with better clients, man. I'm telling you, when you work with someone who is just cost up five thousand dollars to work with you in a mastermind, you know one, you know several things. Number one, this person is serious. They're not playing no games, right? They just gave you five thousand dollars, right? And then number two, they tend to take more accountability for their actions in the coaching, in the product, and the service you've given them. They'll, they're not likely to make excuses. They're not likely to like. Uh, to whine and complain. These are people who are serious. Oh, and I mean, so that may, in and of itself is really nice. And then on top of it, there's even more. You get more leverage. So it's because you are making such a large amount in one sale, you tend to only need less clients to work with to make the same amount of income, which means what? More time freedom, all right? To do other things in your business or maybe just hang out with family or whatever. And you're still creating a healthy income and making tons of money, right? On top of it, there's even more leverage, right? Because think about this and what this is something that's powerful that I didn't know until re until, until I to you know recently when I was studying this is that the energy that it takes to promote a $37 product, low ticket, is similar, if not equal, to the energy to promote a $3,000 product. It's powerful, right? If I create a, a YouTube video that's promoting a product, same energy I put into creating that video for the $37 product I'm promoting is the same as in the $3,000 product, right? So it just makes more sense to leverage your prospecting time, your marketing energy with higher end products since you're going to be using that energy anyway, right? I tell my wife all the time, hey, if you didn't get into real estate, go luxury. The same amount of time it takes to promote, to like walk a client around, to show them the house, to find out which one works for them. And a $200,000 house is the same for a $2 million house. But guess what? You're being compensated way more for your time and energy. And then lastly, but not least, there's less competition in the high ticket arena because most people have self-limiting behaviors and thought patterns that keep them from, that basically keep them cutting prices as their sole marketing strategy, right? Because in their mind, there's they don't believe that they have the value, nor can they express the value enough in order to include in order to get more customers to buy. So they just cut prices. That's all they know, right? And so which leads to this like perpetual cutting of prices, right? I mean, you check out Dan Locke, and I just love his stuff. I was watching this video the other day. He said something that was brilliant. Most people try to lower their price because they are not good at selling themselves. <laughs> because they're not good at selling themselves. So it's interesting, right? It comes down to your ability to express your value, to sell someone on the value that you provide. 
That's what it comes down to. The better you are at selling your value, right? The more money you will make, the more clients and customers that will come flocking to you to buy from you. That's the power of high ticket sales as well, right? Now, let's go into something that I think that's interesting is that on top of it, high ticket sales products and services create results, right? They're likely to create results because you know that they will. You know that, it, right? If someone goes through this course, through this mastermind, it's going to create results. And the social testimonials will drive even more results because here's what's interesting. Better clients that you're going to attract will most likely take action. And when they take action, they get results, right? And when they get results, they give testimonials. Oh my God, this was the best service ever, the best consultation ever, the best coach ever. We did this and he told us to do this and we got this. Then that social proof goes out there. On top of that social proof, people will then see your product and be like, well, wow, it's pretty expensive. But man, if it's that expensive, it must be good. And then, whoa, people are saying that it is good, right? That's another power of influence, social proof that will compel people to buy, even though it's a high ticket product. And then what does that mean lead to? More clients, more better clients that will go through the same process once again, leading to more sales for you. Now, how to make money with high ticket, right? It comes down to my three things that I've kind of been able to like piece out and identify. Number one, you have to acquire a belief in you, right? And it's the same thing that I kind of ran into. You got to find, know that what you offer is valuable. The service that you do, the value that you have is, is worth the investment in you when your customers and clients, your clients see you. You got to know that you're offering life changing value, that their, their health is so much better now that they've seen you. That their relationships are so much better now that they've seen you. That you are providing life-changing value. Know that belief in you, right? Number two, create more value, right? Demonstrate your value now by acquiring more skills. Now, this is whether either you increase the intrinsic value of what it is you're offering. Like maybe you give more products, more services, more coaching, more consulting, whatever. And you give more value and or, and or, you increase your ability to express that value, which I think a lot of the times, I think this number one is not the problem. It's the latter that's the biggest problem. At least I know for me it was. It's your ability to express to people the value that you have. In other words, your sales skills. Improve your sales skills. And I think that's probably the biggest um, return on investment that you can have in terms of investing in yourself. Man, improve your skills, sales skills training, and I think that's going to go a long way. Learn that from Mike Dillard. Improve your skills, and you will never go hungry ever again. Another way you can create more value is by giving away more bonuses that compel people to buy from you, especially in affiliate marketing. And then the third thing is just start promoting high-ticket offers, right? Promoting these things that attract your ideal customers. And you can do this as an affiliate. There's lots of different offers out there, lots of different uh, high-ticket ones, buying ones out there. In fact, I did a video not too long ago on five best online ClickBank products. All of them are high-ticket, mind you, that are just of high quality. I'll leave the link in the description below. You can check out that video. And so then start promoting those. Start creating bonuses so that you can give people that you can provide more value, right? And so... That right there is it. I hope that was helpful. That's my understanding of high ticket sales and the meaning of what that means and how you can do that and why I think every business should probably do an high ticket sales, to be completely honest. So hopefully this was helpful for you, helpful to clarify some, some things from you and you got value from it. If you did, hey, definitely give the video a like and consider subscribing to the channel up here. And hey, if you want to watch more videos on how to make money online on this channel, check out this video right here. I think you'll like it. And if you want to know my number one recommendation for a high ticket affiliate marketing that's going to give you the training and the offer to make high ticket affiliate sales all day long. Hey, check out the link in the description below for my number one recommended offer. And oh, check out my bonuses that I got going on along with that as well if you decide to buy from me. So till the next exciting episode, my friend, be blessed, stay hungry. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.